What up, y'all? This is Dylan, and welcome to my garage. This video, we're gonna break down uh, in a few parts. Um, you know, how my first 300 miles were, how the bike ran, and I'm also gonna teach you guys how to change the oil on it, on a Vitachi Rocket, AKA the G GY6 engine, because on the internet, there's just nowhere. So, let's get started. There's gonna be essential things that you're gonna need. Uh, obviously, for the oil change, it's gonna be the oil. Um, and on these, you're gonna have to change the gearbox uh, fluid as well. Uh, an oil pan, a funnel, all this stuff. So with that being said, let's get started. An oil change is easier to change when you let your bike run just for a few minutes. Two, three minutes, turn it off. It's just gonna make it way easier. I don't have to do that because I rode like an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. So let's get to it. So if you go ahead and move onto your left side of your bike, you're gonna see your gearbox, and then right below it, you're gonna see this plate. And right below that is your oil pan. This plate blocks the oil plug, so you're gonna have to remove that, and that will be an eight millimeter. And then the oil plug alone is gonna be a 17 millimeter. Now let's just get this plate off of here. Once you got that removed, go ahead and take your 17. If you have to use an extension, that's what I just had to do. But once you get it cracked, just come slight with it. And if you barely get any oil on your hands or your wrists, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Perfect. And we're gonna let that drain. Oh, do not lose this washer. This goes on the end of your bolt. We're gonna let that drain and we'll come back to it. Once you let the oil drain out you can go ahead and put your plug back in there do not forget your washer because it'll leak eventually if not <laughs> once you start going and after you get the after you get this on go ahead and put that <sighs> little guard on it as well now what you want to do is come over here on the other side. And if you see this bolt, that is the filter, which is more of a metal mesh that is just supposed to catch all the, the bigger parts. You're not really having to change this all the time, but since it's the first 300 miles, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change it all. So same thing as the other side, 17. And once you get this cracked open, it's going to be like a spring load. So just beware of that. It's kind of like... Make sure you got your pan in there just in case. There's some stuff on in there, which there, ooh, which there is. And this is how it will come. And honestly... This little mesh, if you can see, didn't catch anything. So that's good, because you don't want anything in there. And push her back in there. Yeah. 
What you could do if you want, if there's anything in your mesh, is spray it with some carb cleaner or put some new oil through it, paper towel, whatever. But once you get that tightened, now it's time for the fun part. Next, what you want to do is go to the oil dipstick. Take that off. And you should be checking this regularly just so you know that you're not running out of oil. Um, put your funnel in there. On a Vitachi rocket on this GY6 engine, it takes 1540. On the website, if you look up anything, it says 10W40 and that's just not the case, it's 15. And your bike may or may not say that, but on, on some stickers around, it tells you what kind of oil. Uh, in this case, I'm using some shell, 15W40. You're gonna need 750 milliliters of oil that goes in this. Let's get the point. Oh, Since I don't have a measuring cup and whatnot, kind of eyeballing it, I need to go about 200, about 250 milliliters down here. And I should have that much left, that's what I'm saying. The rest should be going right into this bike. I like how all these people ride by the garage and just look at like, what the hell is that dude doing? I'm working on moments shit, making videos. <laughs> so after all that's drained out, just let's just clean this off, put the dipstick back in there and you should be ready to go with the oil. Uh, in this video, we're gonna jump to the gearbox since I only rode 300 miles, it's break in period, so I'm gonna change everything. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you come over here on the left side to the gearbox, you're gonna have to locate two screws or bolts. You're gonna locate this one, which is your drain plug, I mean, which is your refill plug, and then this one down here, is your drain plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this one with my pan under. I'm gonna leak that out and I'll show you how to refill it. So on this drain plug and on this refill plug, it's going to be a, a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. And basically, let, let's do the same thing as you did on the oil. Do not, I repeat, do not lose this washer. And let that all drain out. And we'll come back to it. Once that drains out, let's just grab this so it don't leak everywhere. Oh, and don't drop it. Go ahead and put this plug back up there. Once you get that plug, come over here to this plug, crack it open. And again, don't lose the washer. You would usually have a tube that goes on the end of this to like tilt up and squeeze in there. There's not a select amount to put in there. You just put it in there until it starts draining out. So let's give it a whirl. You let that drain. Once it starts, stops draining, you put that back on there.
So once it starts, stops draining, you actually just put it back on and you should be ready to go. All we do is let it run, take for a test drive. It's the next day, uh, and all in all, I can tell you guys that my bike is running pretty good. You know, um, the first 300 miles was pretty, pretty good. Uh, they tell you to run it. 25, 30 miles an hour. Um, around here, you can't really do that. It's like 35, 40, but don't, don't push your luck and go past 40. I tend to break things. Just listen to me. So if you watch the video all the way through, if you even learn something from me, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, bell notification, whatever you need to do. Be careful out there and have fun. Y'all take it easy.